Hey Run Junkies, this is something I don't do very often, but I thought I would do kind of a haul slash review. I've been picking up a few things here and there for the last few months and I've been trying them out and I wanted to give you a little bit of an idea of what I've been playing with in the last few months. So first up, I have bought myself a couple of ink and burn items. You may have seen ads for these products. They're really nice and they've got some pretty unique designs. Uh, I bought myself a pair of shorts and a pair of running capris. I love the uh, patterns on these. They're very flattering. The cuts feel good. It's a mid-weight fabric as well, so they're not really hot. The shorts were great for summer. The capris are gonna be great for uh, when it starts to cool off a little bit more. The other thing I love about these is that they do have a pocket that's big enough for a cell phone. I love the ink and burn items. I think I'm gonna be shopping over there a little bit more frequently. I also recently bought a pair of cross training shoes. You guys have seen my whole process of buying running shoes, but I bought these cross training shoes. Now these are called the Reebok Cross Fit Shoe. I don't do CrossFit per se, but a running shoe is designed to have some flexibility in the toe. These are designed to have not only a little bit more stability in the sole of the foot, but also laterally as well. This is not a running shoe. I would not recommend using this for running, but this is great if you're doing any lateral movement, any strength training, anything like that. Next up are the nutrition options that I picked up. Now you guys know that I love my noon hydration. I drink the noon tablets quite a bit, but they recently came out with an endurance, a performance, electrolytes, and carbohydrates mixture. Now this is more of a mix. This isn't the effervescent tab. This is okay. I'm not crazy about the flavor. It's kind of bland uh, as compared to the noon tablets. The other thing too is that it doesn't fully dissolve. After a while, it kind of settles out of solution. So I will use it for any run that is over two hours long. The next thing in the nutrition category are the Huma gels. Uh, a while back, I tried these out. I tried the strawberry and the raspberry. Uh, these, I still love my Goo Energy Gel. I think they're great, but uh, these are all natural. So there are fruit purees in them and as well as chia seeds. So that's what gives you the energy. These are, are really good. They're vegan friendly, they're gluten free. They taste really good. It's kind of like um, jam. It's just, you know, what you would put on toast. It's really good. So I love those. Next up are the bib boards. These are these tiny little tabs, right? You get four of them and you put your bib on your shirt. They open from the back. These are the ones that I got from the Another Mother Runner Run Plus Refresh Retreat back in May. And they say Another Mother Runner on them. But I love these. I use these for fortitude and I don't typically use safety pins to save my, my shirt or my bib. I use a bib belt that has tabs on it that hang the bib down. They're nice, um, but I do, I, I prefer a bib belt. And speaking of the AMR retreat back in May at the Ogden Half Marathon, all of the participants in that retreat got a pair of Trex Air bone conduction headphones. These are becoming my new favorites. I started off after Christmas last year with a pair of Aftershocks Titanium. They are a little thicker, they're a little heavier, but these Air, this is their kind of their second version, uh, and they're much lighter, they're much more comfortable to wear. And since it's getting darker outside and I need to be a bit safer, I do wear these now almost every morning that I'm wearing headphones of some variety. They go around your ears like this, so I can still hear what's going on around me. I just love them. These are great. Lastly, speaking of safety, I did purchase these knuckle lights. These are great because first of all, they are magnetic like that, okay? Second of all, they go around the outside of your hand. So you just pop them on like this, you turn them on, and you can run and you can see what's in front of you. Uh, I'm glad I bought these. I had kind of not wanted a pair of these because I don't like carrying things in my hand. The nice thing is, I mean, it's still a little weird for me. I just don't like carrying things, but this isn't so bad. Uh, these have three different settings. So you have a high, a low, and a blink option. I love being able to see the path in front of me. I do wear a headlamp, but it's not always bright enough to see what's right in front of me. I also want to be seen 
by uh, traffic and I feel like this just lights me up a little bit more and I can be seen by traffic around me and I just feel safer when I'm out now that I'm running in the darker morning hours. But this is just some of the cool stuff that I'm playing with lately. What do you think? Have you tried any of these products? Please leave thoughts, questions, comments, and suggestions in the comment section down below. As always, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more great stuff. I will be back tomorrow and we will see you tomorrow. So go find your awesome and until then, happy running.